United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm going to call this meeting of West Spring City Council to order. Roll call, please. Crowner? Here. Raleigh? Here. Heimeyer? Here. Please? Here. Waterman? Need to perfect and approve the agenda. Support. A motion with support. Any discussion? Roll call. Raleigh? Aye. Heimeyer? Aye. Please? Aye. Crowner? Aye. Motion carried. Consent agenda. Motion to approve. Support. Motion with support to approve consent agenda items one through six, which are the minutes from the regular city council meeting on September 19, 2018. Uh, approve finance officer Sadler's attendance at the Iowa Municipal Finance Officers Association Fall Conference. Uh, approve Fire Chief Ryan's attendance at the 2018 Iowa Instructors Conference. Uh, approve payment to Quad City Analytical Services. Uh, approve payment to clerks. Approve the clerk's monthly financial report for August 2018 and approve the claims in the amount of $140,371.46. Any discussion? Roll call. Heitmeyer? Aye. Lees? Aye. Browner? Aye. Raleigh? Aye. Motion carried. Before we get into staff reports, I want to uh, everybody know that knows that our Former police chief Frank Newberry has retired, and we had a little retirement party here for him today. But I personally wanted to say a few words because he had a lot of visitors today, and uh, tell uh, this isn't going to work. So I'm going to come <laughs> out there. <laughs> uh, Frank, Frank, come on up. I want to. Kind of present Frank with a little flag here that we got for him. And uh, it says, honoring your service, Police Chief Frank Newberry, and appreciation for 28 years of loyal, dedicated service to the city citizens of the city of West Brompton. This is too heavy for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, that's but, good to work out. <laughs> let me just take it here for a minute. Seen it. It's a very Thank nice flag. So uh, I just wanted to wish you the best and I appreciate the friendship that we've had. And yes. I sure as a hell am going to miss the arguments. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Frank, for Thanks, everything. Frank, Frank. And I'm the Great. same way with you, Hans, with all the arguments that we got in there. We had a few <laughs> of them, but. Uh, I like a lively conversation. That's right. Sure. That's right. I like the debate. That's right. That's Frank, right. thank you for your years of yeah. service, buddy. You know that. Uh, you. you quit one year too early. You were supposed to stay till I was done. <laughs> we made that deal right here one night, if you'll remember. Okay. No. I got one more year left, and you stuck me with this guy. But that's okay. <laughs> no, I, seriously, as, as living here all my life, I appreciate your years of service to our town. Okay. Local boy made good. Okay. Yeah, thanks for everything you've done. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. Let's get on the road. Okay. Yeah, Thank you so much, everybody. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, you. <laughs> I still appreciate the call that one day. Oh, yeah. No <laughs> I've, I've done that more than once for different Tell reasons. me I was going too fast. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Gave me a ticket. <laughs> thank you. Yep, thank we'll you. see you around. I'll be around. I just had somebody in the back. <laughs> Good job, Hans. Thanks. Okay, with that, we'll go into staff reports. Dan? Well, I have one thing. Uh, the Greater Burlington Partnerships having their manufacturer's lunch at Pizzazz uh, this coming Friday, 11 to 1. I can't make it. I'm out of town that day, but we have a, we've sponsored a table, so there's a place for you to sit if you show up. Um, they're going to fill it with chamber staff if not enough of us show up. So I had to add plan on going. So. 11 to 1? 11 to 1. Anybody else wants to join me, you're welcome. What day is that at time? Friday. 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 I'll check and give you a call back. Yeah, let me know. I can, I'm can. i sure Rachel would be happy to hear about it a little bit ahead of time. She said it wasn't a problem. I was told her I'd announce it and let her know if anybody was taking it. What time it. was that, Hans? Uh, it starts at 11 and goes to 1. Okay. Thank you, guys. They usually have a pretty good speaker come. <clears throat> Anybody have anything for Frank? Uh, for Dan, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Randy? Just a couple things. The street projects are moving along pretty fast right now. Um, I talked to Matt Walker. I actually got an email from him this afternoon. Miller's planning on putting asphalt down on the overpass Friday, weather permitting. Um, Hickey's been really going pretty good doing the concrete patching on Gear Avenue. That's moving along really well. And if they can get the asphalt down, then next week they'll jump over to the other side and should keep moving along pretty good over there. And Mount Pleasant Street is moving along pretty good right now. And I did talk to Dan Hickey, which is the contractor that's going to do the concrete work as soon as they get the the asphalt milled off over here and he's planning on moving in right behind them so i expect those two projects to continue and and uh hopefully we get everything taken care of yet this fall did they start on beaverdale yet not yet, not yet. <clears throat> there was people out there today well they're doing the work in the county oh yeah it's north right. of a, us yeah they haven't started on ours yet yeah Anything, anybody have anything for Randy? I would quickly say only because I picked on him pretty bad on our last meeting that the Mount Pleasant project does seem to be moving forward. <laughs> and I, had, I, I now have great confidence it'll be done before the 4th of July. <laughs> I, I like what I said at the last meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm with you, Rod. <laughs> I, it, it was going pretty slow, but they've switched contractors and things seem to be moving, and, and I appreciate that happening i hope things move along on this side of the yeah. street i uh, me too all righty chief i uh, just would like to remind the residents of, of west burlington that if they see anything suspicious in their neighborhood don't hesitate to give us a call we've had a couple uh garages and vehicles burglarized over the last couple weeks so if they see anything if they have video or anything that they would like to turn over to the police department that'd really help us out catching some of these guys out vandalizing and uh, breaking into vehicles. Is, um, other than 911, is there a good number for people to call? Uh, no, it's just that or the non-emergency number is uh, through Des Descom would be, I think it's 671-7001 is, uh, is the non-emergency phone number for Descom that they can report anything to and that line's uh, obviously answered 24 hours a day, too, so. Okay. Anybody else have anything for Jess? Another chief. Well, I've got uh, starting to line up the fall inspections for our different properties. Already got 701 East Pennington lined up for next Monday, and we'll be going from there. I've got a couple other commercials to do and some residentials uh, that'll fall in this fall, you being one of them. Right. We've got that one property we talked about before. We'll get that knocked out. Um, fireside, we started our driver training a couple weeks ago. Uh, Monday night, we had stage two of it where the guys went out and pumped with two experienced pump operators. 
Um, I didn't hear any bad reports come back, so things are moving well on that. We've got one more where they'll actually start putting it all in together and start driving. We've got live fire training coming up in Minneapolis at the end of the month that uh, Paul Barnett's getting everybody trained up for, our new people, so they'll be able to start riding on calls. Uh, they're progressing real well. And then uh, we've got fire prevention week next week with the schools. We're going to be going up to the elementary school, doing a coloring contest. And uh, the winners from each grade are going to get a ride to school in a fire truck if their parents agree to it. Um, just kind of reward and a little bit of recognition for those kids. And then tomorrow night we're hosting the um, unity, night. unity night for the football. Thank you. And uh, so we've been cleaning the station up, getting things organized. We're going to be serving up tacos for the football team. And guys are looking forward to that as well. <clears throat> Can we come up? <laughs> got to eat my cooking. <laughs> Willing to try everything once. <laughs> I have everything for Sean. Kelly, you got anything going on? Not tonight. Leslie? I've been working with the auditor to finish up the audit. That should be in the first meeting in November on the agenda for that meeting. I'm completing the annual report. Uh, November, that first meeting in November, we'll probably do the TIF report to the state TIF report, and Spears should be here also to, do, uh, to go over their report. And I've been working on the unclaimed property report. I hopefully have that submitted this week. Hey. Rod, you got anything going on? No, thank you, sir. Rick? No, Rod said something about the streets and that anything. <laughs> the only other thing I have on new business, I would like to take number seven and move it at the end. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Voice? Nothing. Grace? Uh -uh. Okay. Anyone wishing to address council on matters that are not on the agenda tonight? It's your chance. Okay. I got a proclamation to read, and it's Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Domestic Violence Awareness Month, October 2018. Whereas domestic violence, dating violence, and stalking affects women, children, and men of all racial, cultural, and economic backgrounds, causing long-term physical, psychological, and emotional harm. And whereas one in three Americans has witnessed an incident of domestic violence. And whereas children who experience domestic violence are at a higher risk for failure in school, mental illness, substance abuse, suicide, and may choose violence as a way to solve problems later in life. And whereas domestic violence in rural communities exist as hidden, silent, and often unrecognized crime that is often underreported, and whereas through the inspiration, courage, and persistence of victims of domestic violence, their children and advocates, our communities are learning to recognize the impact of violence in the home and within intimate relationships. And whereas the Domestic Violence Intervention Program has worked to end violence in intimate relationships for more than 39 years through the collaborative partnerships of advocates, volunteers, local municipalities, criminal justice, health and human services, faith communities, business leaders, and private citizens. And whereas our community's achievements should be commended and we must continue our commitment to respect and support victims of domestic violence and to prevent future violence in our community. Now, therefore, be it resolved that we, the West Bronx City Council, do hereby proclaim the month of October 2018 to be Domestic Violence Awareness Month in West Bronx, Iowa, and urge all citizens to work together to eliminate domestic violence, stating violence, and stalking from our community. Signed this third day of September 2018 in West Bronx, Iowa. Should be. October, but I'd like to present this to you. And thank you for working on that. Thank you. All righty. New business. Item number, one, item number one is to consider change order number five from Leander Construction for the wastewater treatment plan project in the amount of $72,625.10.
So Look, move. Support. Motion was support. Any discussion? Roll call. Well, Ben's here if, the, if anybody wants to ask her any questions. <laughs> and say anybody jump up. So. <laughs> Roll call. Nightmare. Aye. Lees? Aye. Crowner? Aye. Raleigh? Aye. Motion carried. Item number two is consider entering into an engineering service agreement with Snyder and Associates for repairs to the South Lift Station. Uh, total amount is eighty thousand dollars. Fifteen thousand is split in the in the fifteen thousand and sixty-five thousand dollars for design work and oversight and all this good stuff. And the engineering estimate for that lift station is around five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, that's, that's very rough. I mean, rough, we're yeah. pretty early. It could be three hundred to five hundred thousand range. See how the we're bids not really come in. We're supposed to even be doing design work yet, but we have been. You have been, <laughs> yeah. So we need to pay you. Yeah. It's a lot of money. Did um, I really say five hundred thousand dollars? Completely yeah. replacing the lift station, putting in new grinder pumps. Uh, the pumps now are getting clogged up with rags from the hospital and all kinds of stuff. So we're putting in uh, some pretty pricey pumps and a new wet well. Um, yeah. Wow. Got a motion, but I don't have a second yet. Second. Sorry. Motion to support. Any further discussion? So I should have argued with that EPA lady a long time ago. What's that? Oh, that EPA lady out there. I oh. Should have argued with her, you know. Go ahead. I'm just. Roll call. Raleigh? Aye. Knight Meyer? Aye. Please? Aye. Crowner? Aye. Motion carried. Item number three is to consider memorandums of understanding agreements with the city of Burlington regarding cost sharing for portions of street reconstructions on agency and Mount Pleasant Street. Dan, you can explain this. We've talked about all these numbers before, but uh, uh, the city of Burlington wanted to make the, make the formal for you guys to adopt, but um, it's basically we're paying the match <coughs> for the portions of these projects that are in West Burlington. Um, and then they're paying us for the portion of our agency street project that's in Burlington. So there's money, a little bit of money going both ways. Um, and this is for the Mount Pleasant Street project, uh, the, or the agency street rise project, which is at that in front of GE, and uh, our agency street project from Bickles to, to West Burlington Avenue that's in West Burlington. So which we've already all agreed on. Yeah, we talked about this several times before and they were, I originally thought they were just gonna invoice us, but uh, their new engineer wanted to do it this way, so. Motion to approve. Support. Motion to support. Any discussion? Roll call. Entmeyer. Aye. Lees. Aye. Crowner. Aye. Raleigh. Aye. Motion carried. Item number four is consider resolution waiving the preliminary and approving the final plat for Victory Lane subdivision. Motion approved. Support. Motion to support. Any discussion? Roll call. Lees? Aye. Crowner? Aye. Raleigh? Aye. Nightmare? Aye. Motion carried. Item number five is consider payment of French Renegar Associates for engineering services related to the agency gear resurfacing project and the Broadway agency resurfacing project in the amount of $10,861.81. Motion to approve. Support. Motion to support. Any discussion? Roll call. Crowner? Aye. Raleigh? Aye. Heitmeyer? Aye. Please? Aye. Motion carried. Item number six is to consider payment to Snyder and Associates for engineering services related to the wastewater treatment plant project in the amount of 
$953.59. So move support. Motion with support. Any discussion? Roll call. Raleigh. Aye. Heitmeyer. Aye. Lees. Aye. Browner. Aye. Motion carried. Item number A is to consider a resolution appointing Eldon Nelson and David Bogue to police sergeant positions and establishing the salary for the positions. I just want to have a question. I want you two gentlemen to realize first that I don't have anything against you as far as what's going on here. But the only thing that I remembered back when Alex was here is that if we had a blood related of two officers by blood or marriage or anything, that we could not have one person higher than the other one. Is that correct, Dan? No, not necessarily. We talked about that before, but uh, Jesse and I talked this through, and since there's two equal sergeants, that if, uh, if, uh, if there's an incident that needs to be taken care of with Dylan, then Eldon will handle that. And, and I'm not going to really, you know, argue about anything, even though I had two pieces of cake and you told me that <laughs> for a while. But anyway, you have to remember that back when Alex that Ringel did not know at the time and that I supported him as far as getting um, sergeant strikes at that time. At that time, um, I kept on getting no's all the way through Alex and Frank um, and yourself uh, because of his son. I just want to make sure that it's kind of the same policy. I don't want anybody to get upset. And I think I knew Ringo probably knew about it, but not by me. I think it's a little different since there, then we were talking about one sergeant and now we have two equal sergeants. So that kind of well, takes we, that, 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 that gives you the ability to deal with that situation. I, I, I knew you were going to probably say that, but we had a lieutenant that came in there. And then when I come in, I said, we need a lieutenant and then a sergeant at that time. Because Ryan was going to another department. Besides that, he was on second shift at that time. I just wondered if, there were, if we're going to have an incident with a problem or anything like this. Like I said, the chief and I discussed it. I think we've got a way around it. I don't think it's going to be an issue. I feel confident with what we have presented here with David and Dylan. Um, well, that's fine. I just didn't want Ringo and, uh, to feel denied over all the years. I, no, I, I completely understand that. And like I said, I, I opened it up to, to everybody that, um, that wanted the position and mm -hmm. Ringo. Ringo at that uh, never turned in a application or an interest in applying to be sergeant this time. So. Okay. Do I have anything against you guys? I just, I'm just playing questions. it safe because I know you have a brother, correct? Okay. No, it needs to be discussed. Absolutely. Yes, Ringo. Um, I, I went and countered that twice. I did not know that uh, Kirk was going to talk about this. <laughs> Oh, you know me. If I want to bring something up, I'll bring it up. I did not know that that was like that. But that happened to me twice. I did, I, and that was one of the reasons why I decided not to apply this time. But I don't think there's going to be any problem with Dave working on. Both uh, these guys are, are going to do a good job. And I feel very comfortable, so the rest of the guys. Okay. And the other guys feel comfortable, too? I don't, they have no problem with the... Uh, you guys have talked done. to them, too? Uh, yeah, no one's had any problem with that. Okay. Um, and I know you didn't know that back in the past with that and everything else, but I do appreciate what you've done, and I know for several years, and then we moved lieutenants in instead of having sergeants. Um, that's the only reason. Now we don't have a lieutenant, and we got 
two sergeants. So I just want to know how this works out. And you do not have any problems with your brother, do you? <laughs> Does he have a problem with you? <laughs> he is getting married this weekend, so that might change. change. Uh, thank you. Okay. We've worked in a similar situation before up at Iowa State. Um, where I, was, I mean, it was okay. the same I, I have never seen any problem with it. I've never seen anything with, with uh, Ringo or his boy that played for me and everything else. So I didn't think there was any trouble. Uh, that's where Frank and I always got in a little arguments and hassles, and Alex just kind of blew it off at that time. But Absolutely. no, I appreciate all you guys and everything you do. I just didn't want you know, problems just to have in that point in there. And of course, I'll bring it up, and, and uh, everybody just kind of hide it. But, uh, Absolutely. Right, should and we you, never uh, really get an opportunity to discuss, you know, the things that go on and then pop up. Sometimes we just show up and here it is and, yeah. you know, and we just get into it, so. Um, but, okay, <clears throat> all right. As far as issues, I guess we've just discussed if there, if there are issues of a nepotism situation that would not be handled by, um, if, for example, if it were Dylan who were needing to be disciplined or something like that, I would not play a factor in that decision making. Well, I know working with a company that I got ticked off because I got overlooked and I had a lot of years and I, you know, I just had, didn't have the, the little piece of paper that he Absolutely. was smarter than I was. That was the only thing and he never went. But anyway, um, just want to know, Ringo, I appreciate you getting up and, and saying something on that. I appreciate you two guys. Um, Act like you've had conversations and that stuff and know what's going on. Thanks a lot, Mayor. Okay, I still need a motion. Motion to approve. Support. Okay, there's a motion of support. Any further discussion? Jesse, are they going to rotate shifts? They are going to work the two 12 hour shifts, so they'll, you know, minus the holidays or vacation, there will be a sergeant out from one. Um, and it, it explains it a little bit more in the personnel manual, but. For the most part, they'll work 12-hour shifts, so they'll work from 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. So we'll have that second shift coverage and part of third shift coverage of having a, uh, a commanding officer out. So. And just to make sure everybody understands, your command structure within the police department is? Chief, sergeant, then senior um, patrolman, then goes down to regular patrol officers. Okay, thanks. Okay, roll call. Hi, Meyer. Hi. Please. Hi, Browner. Hi. Rawling. Hi. Mo motion carried. Uh, so we'll just go back to item number seven because Rick got his questions answer. answered. Right. So let's consider changes to the employee personnel manual, which. Motion to approve. Support. It's motion to support. Any discussion? Basically, that just changes the uh, overtime pay from where it's overtime now, eight hours after eight hours, uh, to where we have to include the 12 hour shifts, to where overtime doesn't kick in for these, the sergeant positions till the 12 hour, after 12 hours. Roll call. Aye. Browner. Aye. Raleigh. Aye. Nightmare. Aye. Motion carried. And by the way, congratulations, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Not always so, easy to be a leader. Do I have to re-swear them in or? Probably not. No. I already swore at them once. <laughs> <laughs> Just knew that was coming. Blue stripes on them, that's not easy. <laughs> and if there is problems between David and Dylan, Dad's sitting right there. <laughs> I knew he came in on this side here. That's all. all right. He'll take care of it for me. Item number nine is considered purchase of three bulletproof vests for a police department in the amount of $2,082.82. So move. Support. And there's a motion with support. Any discussion? Roll call. Browner. Aye. Raleigh. Aye. Heitmeyer. Aye. Lees. Motion carried. Item number 10 is considered purchase of three rifles for the police department in the amount of $3,900. Is 
Motion to approve. Support. Motion to support. Any discussion? Are you buying cannons? Yes. Okay. Hmm. I had to ask because that word rifle bothered me there for a minute. I didn't know if they were this long or if they were this long. In between. I gotcha. I said to staff today, maybe we should deny it. Maybe Brownells will cover that for us. 223. Roll call. Raleigh. Aye. Heitmeyer. Aye. Please. Aye. Crowner. Absolutely aye. Motion carried. Never have too many guns. Item number 11 is consider resolution appointing Jesse Loken as Deputy Fire Chief and Brandon Paduano as Lieutenant in the Fire Department. This I have to have a conversation with because I have a problem with this one. Jesse, I don't have any fault with you as far as working on the fire department or anything else. The only thing that bothers me about this is that you're the chief of police now, okay? And that if you did go to a fire and Ryan was gone and you were there commanding the fire going off and these guys run in with a big shootout, I need you with these guys. It'd be easy. Well, I know you're gonna tell me that. <laughs> when I was young, I always told everybody I can do three or four things but sometimes it don't work out. You don't know when that's gonna be an incident and don't take me wrong on this one here, okay? But I have to say no. That's fine. Okay? Now, I don't know if I can, I can never pronounce his name and he say played Brandon. football for me. Brandon I always called Pimbano. him a pod. <laughs> now, I don't know if I can go ahead with his name or not, because I don't know how that worked, because in budget time I couldn't do that if it was in one sentence and it was combined, because it's an and, and you're voting on both. And I would have to go no total. Well, you can separate them out, but okay. if you well, say, if I, that's all let me I'm give asking. my, I'll give you my five cents worth of well, okay. what it's worth. The fire department is set up just like the police department. It's a paramilitary organization, to where if you got your general here, you got your chiefs here, and if one of them isn't there, the next one takes over, all the way down to your buck private. And I was in the military. <laughs> so, well, then you should understand. I do understand that. And it's, and it's, set, up, and it's set up that way. So if, if Jesse happens to be at a fire and something's going well, on with, with the police going. department. I wouldn't understand where you're going. Well, let me, let me we have two sergeants that go ahead <laughs> no. and cut in. But let me finish. So if Jesse's at a fire and he happens to be the, command, the chief at the fire, and something happens at the police department, his primary is always going to be the police department. You got the next guy stepping up at the fire. You remember, they're volunteers. These are paid. Jesse's paid over here. He's the chief 24 hours a day, the police chief 24 hours a day, not a chief for three or four hours at a fire scene. I so, don't care if he works for the fire department as far as the head command to take over when he does. I have a problem with that. I appreciate what you said and everything else, but I can't go with that. Now, as far as him being down a little lower, or if he's to the fire department or something, and maybe he's at the fire now, they can't. But if he's there to take his place, his responsibility is the crew, and he has to take care of that fire department while his people that he is ahead now is endangered and may need him for something to go. That's the way I feel. Okay, yeah, but that's not how it is. I don't, Mike. I'm I mean, not gonna sit here and argue. I already made up my mind and well, that's okay. the way the military works. First I, I need a, first I need a motion. Don't even have that yet. <laughs> uh, support. Do we wanna break those out then? Doesn't matter to me, I suppose you can. Doesn't matter to me. Whoever makes the motion I mean, can decide. Gotta have the motion first. If I can, real quick. When I was a captain on the department, I was still a sergeant on the police department. And that was when the ice storm came in. 
and I was working on the fire department at that time volunteering and I got a phone call saying you need to come in so I turned my crew over so I understand what you're saying Rick, but okay I'm just say, yeah I talking my about crew over to the you're next talking because line. if he's gone I came in yeah I'm looking at this from the aspect of like I'm at that conference who's running the show here I've got Jesse if we have something in town but if he gets a phone call from the police department he steps away and he hands it down to the next person in line or to the next senior firefighter like to Daryl it's I, it's I know a, I know so they have somebody to go right. to in case something happens and we're a small town that is a big town in a way and everything else but tonight that's the way I feel I and understand. I'm just gonna go along with that and I, I, that. I, I don't that. I'm not gonna sit here and argue about it or anything else I just feel departments heads to care of their departments and the next guy takes it because if you want to go then you take his spot when he's gone and he'll take your spot when you're gone oh frank had me on that list yeah you could just it took me off. <laughs> <laughs> i make a motion to approve brandon as a lieutenant in the fire department support make a motion with support any further discussion roll call please Connor. Aye. Raleigh. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Motion carried. I'll make a motion to appoint Jesse Logan as Deputy Fire Chief. Support. Motion with support. Any discussion? Further discussion, I should say. No. Roll call. Crowner. Aye. Raleigh. No. Meyer. Aye. Please. Aye. Motion carried. I knew it was going to go that way. <laughs> Turn it. No, that's fine. Well, it's good discussion, no, though. No, yeah, good. that's fine. Item number 12, consider purchase of fire and EMS reporting software for the fire department. Motion to approve. 3275. Sorry. Motion was support. <laughs> Sorry. Any discussion? Roll call. Heitmeyer. Aye. Please. Aye. Browner. Aye. Raleigh. Aye. Motion carried. Item number 13 is to consider a quote from TCK Concrete for the first phase of flooring at the fire department training building in the amount of $6,336. Support. A motion with support. Any discussion? Roll call. Please. Aye. Browner. Aye. Raleigh. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Motion carried. Item number 14 is to consider a resolution disposing of the old water meters and the MXUs. Motion to approve. Support. Motion to support. Any discussion? Roll call. Crowner. Aye. Raleigh. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Please. Motion carried. Item number 15 is considered change order number one from Ferguson Waterworks for the water meter replacement in the amount of $20,503.14 <coughs> to install the large diameter meters. Motion to approve. Support. Motion to support. Any discussion? Roll call. Raleigh. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Please. Aye. Connor. Aye. Motion carried. Anybody have any old business? Anyone wish to address council matters we did discuss or didn't discuss tonight? Step forward. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Support. Support. All those Aye. in favor? Aye. 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 Means adjourned. Thank you.